So with the release of the Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth 3 DLC, many players have returned. Many players are picking up Elden Ring for the first time, but players are looking for the best ways to level up. This means the best ways to earn those runes. Now upon the first few months of this game's release, there were hundreds, thousands of rune farming spots, but right now, many of them have been patched out of the game. Today in this video, I bring you the best rune farming spots in this game to level up fast. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So unfortunately, some of the best rune farming spots in this game consisted of you jumping off the map on your mount and swinging your weapon. For whatever reason, this rewarded you hundreds of thousands of runes in minutes doing this. Now I've checked every spot I can remember and it does seem as though From Software have finally patched them out of the game. But there are still some amazing farming spots you can take advantage of people, earning you millions per hour with ease. So let's get into the best farming spots that still exist in Elden Ring Shadow of the Air Tree. Firstly, the also famous Mogwin Dynasty area hill farm. Now there are hundreds of guides on how you get to this place, I myself have made a fair few of them. It's also the area where you enter the DLC, so if you plan on playing that DLC, you have to come here. So the hill where the greys of Palace Approach Ledge Road is home to, this is home to the two best rune farms in this game. One earning a ton more than the other though, but both great rune farming spots. Firstly, the bird. To my surprise, this still works, which absolutely amazes me. All this requires you to have is a bow and arrows, simple as that. So from this graze point, run to this ledge from the exact spot I go to, wait for that bird to turn around and start to walk away, aim that bow as I do between the gaps in the tree, shoot, hit the bird, it runs off the edge, you get over 10k runes per time doing this, reset the grace behind you, Rinse and repeat until you are rich. The next farm spot also takes place on this exact hill. Because if you've noticed, there are multiple enemies camped up on this hill. Taking them out rewards you little under 3k runes per one. That's without anything that buffs those rune drops. Now the absolute best way to do this is to use a weapon that has a massive AOE effect which allows you to take out multiple of these enemies at the same time. The absolute best for this is a sacred relic sword. This sword does require you to defeat the Elden Beast and the last boss of the main game and use his remembrance at the round table and claim this weapon. Now there are other options here that just ain't as quick. We have the Mugwin Sacred Spear obtained from Morg's Remembrance. The Blasphemous Blade obtained from Rykar's Remembrance. The Star Scourge Greatsword obtained from Radan's Remembrance. And there are probably countless other weapons capable of doing this too. Pretty cool.
Now, there are other farms in the game which are still quite good. Nowhere near as good as the first two, uh, but you can still use these to earn yourself some decent runes. A few that spring to mind to me, and first up we have uh, the one where you can use the grace of across the roots within the deep root depths and run this short route which consists of five enemies which give you just over 4k per kill, giving you around 20k runes per minute. So the last two runes can be used by almost brand new players, literally players not long starting the game. The first is that classic boulder rune farm. So from the Lenny's Rise Grace Point, do as I do and run down this hill. Wait in this spot for that boulder to spawn, when it rolls towards you, sprint out of the way, dodge out of the way, get out of the way, it rolls off the edge. You then get just under 3k runes, fast travel back to that grace, repeat. Now if you go further on down the hill there is another border you can do this with, but I think it's faster as farming the first one. The other one is the Farum Great Bridge Farm. Here guys, mount your horse, ride around this area looking for these enemies. There are, I believe probably 10 plus here and taking them out gives you 1k runes per kill, per one. Once you've done that, fast travel back to that grace and rinse and repeat people. And well there we have it guys, some of the best rune farms in this game actually still work and will earn you tons of runes and will allow you to level up quite quick. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.